And we can go live to Belgrade and speak to Serbia's Prince Alexander II. He's been travelling across the country to try to raise awareness about the impact the floods have been having. Thanks for being with us on the programme. Tell us what you've seen as you've travelled around and what people have been telling you about their situation. Uh, you're not coming to call very well, but still, I'll try and answer what you're asking. It's a disaster. My wife and I are beat out on the field, and we've seen houses totally running, enveloped in water, a destruction. The water was very strong. Uh, we've seen dead cattle. Uh, we've seen refugees, uh, people asking for help. In Belgrade, uh, the stadium is full. Uh, dormitories are full, maybe 45,000 are here, and we have a serious problem with the heat coming up. It's 29 degrees today, and certainly this may create a very bad problem uh, and there's a danger of epidemic. Uh, so definitely we need international help. So this isn't an emergency that Serbia can deal with on its own then? You're appealing to the outside world. What do you want? Just money? Yes, we're appealing to the outside world for help. And also, it's not only for Serbia, but it's for the whole region. This has brought us together, uh, particularly uh, Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Republika Srpska, uh, and Serbia. It is really a disaster, a regional disaster, uh, since the Sava River has had the most incredible strength of water, floods of water with waves that come down. And uh, it has uh, taken people by total surprise. Uh, what we saw really is a shock, and we appeal to the international community uh, to work together with our authorities, uh, and I'm certain so much can be done. But uh, after this, we need to work on the infrastructure and the reconstruction of people's homes. Uh, people have lost their homes, and not to forget about agriculture. The agricultural fields have been totally destroyed. You can see that from the aerial pictures. And this is a very big preoccupation. Also, there's contamination, so we have to look at the way how to deal with that hygiene. Good to talk to you and appreciate your time. That's uh, Prince Alexander joining us there from uh, the Serbian capital, Belgrade. Thank you for your time. Thank you.